Hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And there are loads of new announcements this week, particularly in the security space. So this week sees the launch of a brand new service called AWS Secrets Manager. AWS Certificate Manager now includes its own private certificate authority. We also saw the launch of the new AWS Firewall Manager. A new S3 storage class is now available and we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. This week, AWS have launched a brand new service called AWS Secrets Manager. So this allows you to store and retrieve your secrets using the API or command line interface. So you can store things like your database credentials, passwords, API keys, all under one central secure service and without having to provision or maintain any of your own infrastructure. You can also rotate your credentials on a regular basis using a built-in Lambda function to ensure maximum protection for all of your data and applications. AWS Certificate Manager now includes its own private certificate authority. So this new offering allows developers to provision new certificates using just a few API calls and gives administrators a central management console as well as fine-grained access control using IAM policies. So previously you would have needed specialist infrastructure, security expertise in order to deliver this function. And this new offering allows you to easily and securely manage your own private certificates all under a pay-as-you-go pricing model. Another brand new service that was launched this week is AWS Firewall Manager. And this is a security management tool which allows you to centrally configure and manage your web application firewall rules across all your application load balancers and CloudFront distributions. So this means that you can roll out a consistent set of rules very quickly and easily using just one single service. And this is available right now globally for all CloudFront Edge locations. There is a new S3 storage class now available, and it's called S3 One Zone Infrequent Access. And this is a low cost option for infrequently accessed storage and for those use, use cases where a lower level of availability is acceptable. So the key difference between this and the regular infrequent access offering is that instead of storing the data in a minimum of three availability zones, the data is only stored in a single AZ. But it's gonna cost you 20% less than the regular infrequent access you still get the 11.9's durability of your data, but the availability of the service is reduced to 99.5 over a given year. So this is ideal for use cases where the data is not critical, it's accessed infrequently, for example, a secondary backup. So on to Guru of the Week, and the correct answer this week was SpaceX. And the only person who got the correct answer is Sean Welsh. Uh, Sean manages product development for eGrocery in Adelaide. So congratulations to Sean. We're going to be sending you a Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand-signed card in the post. And you are also in the draw to win a free ticket to join us at reInvent 2018. So this week's question is now live on our Facebook page. Please see the link below. And that's it from me. You've been watching AWS This Week. Keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus, and I'll see you next time. Bye.